Welcome to the LPA, Sacred Heart University, uh, webinar on, let's say, the private equity certificates. Today's session will be dedicated to give you lots of practical information and insights on that program that will be launched very soon, beginning of October, and also the different takeaways from either former students, like we have here today with us, and also then the uh, director of program, Jens Holleman. Could you please, uh, dear panelists, introduce yourselves to our audience, and then let's move on to the first question. Jens? Thank you very much, Stefan. Uh, yes, um, Jens Solomon is my name. Uh, I'm working in the alternative industry for almost 14 years, uh, amongst others for uh, two major uh, PE firms. And uh, some years ago, um, I had this idea uh, to launch uh, the uh, private equity course here in Luxembourg uh, together with SHU and then uh, finally with LPA. My name is Christine. Uh, I came over eight years ago to, to Luxembourg, uh, directly into the private equity industry, I, I, where I started working at Deloitte. Uh, then I switched to a service provider, and now I work at the private side in uh, Three Hills Capital Partners. My name is Thibaut Rissou. I'm tax advisor here at Ethos Luxembourg, and I'm working in the industry for eight years now. Well, my name is Louis Galvez. I work with the LPA for six years, and um, I had the opportunity to do the program last year um, together with Jens and Christine and, and Steve. Thank you then for this short introduction. Just as a reminder, so you can certainly ask questions during our webinar via the Q&A button or the chat function. And also to make it uh, vivid, we will have then a Q&A uh, moment at the end. So really don't hesitate to participate to our webinar. So in order then to kick start a little bit, uh, let's say the explanations around then the PE certificates, just as a reminder also, also, this is the second year we are partnering up with Sacred Heart. I'm very happy to push that further because in our eyes, training is very important to our sector. And if you want to attract more talent, be it from Luxembourg, but also abroad, you need to propose such, uh, let's say, opportunities then to those people. They could be, let's say, young students, but also professionals and also people who are already working either in the financial services or other sectors and would like to enter the field. So then let's start with Jens. Um, Jens, could you quickly explain us when the PE certificate was created and also what the motivation behind was? Uh, yes, thank you. Um, I think it was back in 2016 or even uh, end of 2015 uh, when I had this idea. Uh, it was twofold. Um, first of all, uh, I saw the uh, uh, alternative sector here in, in Luxembourg growing so much. Uh, um, AFMD came and uh, funds uh, relocated to Luxembourg or were set up here. And uh, the second thought I had was uh, SHU, as uh, one of the 500 best business schools in the world, should provide a course uh, that is uh, looking into the PE field. So I approached uh, Sacred Heart here in, in Luxembourg, and they were discussing this with uh, the main campus in, in Fairfield and Connecticut. And then finally, in uh, 2018, we launched the course for the first time. And uh, since 2019, then, together with LPA. And also on our side, it really made sense to partner with Sacred Heart due to, let's say, the high recognition of the university itself, but also the different accreditations and possibilities also for the students to enter DP certificates or potentially also other, uh, let's say, opportunities. Uh, Jens, could you also tell us more about this year's program, uh, also potentially the modules and speakers who will be on board? Yes, um, the idea was that uh, private equity and the other alternative asset classes shall, shall not be taught from a pure academic point of view. Um, private equity uh, is a subject that uh, comes from experience. It is, in general, not something that uh, academia can only provide. So we had the idea to bring in experts uh, from the industry, experts on the different models. So we will uh, teach the entire life cycle of private equity, start with fundraising, uh, starting with doing the transactions, 
tech structuring, legal structuring, um, exits, and then the different asset classes. And for each of them, we will have an expert in that field. We also share, again, that vision that you should be, let's say, uh, holistic in the approach to bring the different angles to the table and also then with hands-on experts. And there also we are very proud to have some of those coaches and experts coming from the LPA and where we then, again, we can share that knowledge, the experiences, and illustrate that with different business cases. Um, yes. Jens, um, I think this year was a little bit complicated, but then thanks to COVID, etc. Uh, concerning the logistics and the organization, what's the current outlook? Will it be physical, virtual, uh, timing-wise, uh, and the participants? Can you give us a few details there, please? Yes. Um, the course is currently uh, scheduled uh, for physical attendance. Um, we don't know yet how um, the pandemic will uh, uh, continue. But at the moment, we think it's doable. Uh, we, of course, have a backup plan to do it virtual, if need be. And uh, we have uh, courses in the evenings, uh, starting from uh, 6.30 until uh, 9.30 with a short break to accommodate who um, uh, have to work, of course. And um, to uh, provide maybe some, some highlights, um, we have um, for valuations a very difficult topic that is not so easy uh, to teach. We have a fantastic uh, guest speaker with, with Nick Muller, uh, former uh, um, a partner of KPMG, uh, or uh, we have uh, one session for, for venture capital. And uh, venture capital uh, will be um, uh, by Jerome Wittammer. Uh, founding partner of Expon, and he's a true venture capitalist. And uh, it's really fun just to listen to him what venture capital is about. Great, Jens, that looks really like a plan. So lots of strong knowledge from local experts and also international experts. Uh, a few words potentially also on uh, how Sacred Heart works. I mean. Can you just join the modules or uh, just the, the, the PE certificate? What can you do with those credits? The original idea uh, was this uh, course for private equity, but we then expanded that. So um, the full program is now a PE certificate that uh, consists of uh, different models. There's only one course uh, that is a requirement, which is this private equity course. Uh, and then uh, one can choose different uh, models, uh, risk management, portfolio management, for example. Um, but uh, if one is only interested in this course only, that is uh, doable as well and can only visit this course. Great, that uh, should be very inspiring then for the first and next uh, students then. Concerning now, let's say, let's move on also to the different panelists. We have then Christine, Steve, and Louis, who attended then last year's session. And then as former students, alumni, could you please share with us a little bit what you personally like most within that uh, PE certificate, within those modules, and also uh, initially also the reasons of your enrollment and the key takeaways you would uh, personally see from that uh, certificate. Art. Well, maybe I'll, I'll take the lead here. Um, well, the, the, the course was, uh, was very interesting. I've, I've been in contact with, uh, with private equity for several years with many members of, of the LPA, whom I then met as, um, <clears throat> uh, as professors in this same course for different sessions. And um, despite all the conferences and all the technical webinars that I've attended throughout these years, there was always something new to get. There was always new perspectives. Um, plus the, the, the range of subjects were very um, complete. Um, private equity is a very evolving subject. There are new subjects, new trends like uh, ESG, for instance, which is now uh, one of the, the, the biggest trends uh, that was also covered. And every year there are updates and I'm sure uh, there will be updates um, also at the level of each of the presentations. Um, what attracted me the most when I took the course at first or that motivated me to, to, to jump in was to um, 
solidify some concepts. Uh, it's true that there are sessions which are more um, easy uh, or more generalistic that um, treat the concepts of private equity. And then you have sessions which are more, far more technical, more detailed on tax, on legal aspects, which really require some additional concentration and which are um, uh, maybe uh, the day-to-day -day for some of the practitioners in the marketplace, but not for everyone, not for all the, 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 the members of our association, for sure. Um, both me, uh, I don't know if Christine and Steve did the, the full certificate, but myself, I participated only in the private equity course, uh, which were two months incentive, uh, intensive uh, uh, sessions. And the second thing that um, pushed me also to it was to know that there would be a final work, which I found very interesting. I know at least Steve he mentioned <clears throat> that before uh, with us. That we also appreciate much, but for me it was one of the was one of the key uh, drivers because it, it really puts you on the shoes of a of an asset manager, of a fund manager, and you really need to plan. Um, and it's not only limited to private equity per se. You can also explore real estate, infrastructure investments, and um, and uh, it was very complete and interesting. And on your side, Christine, what would you oh, like yeah. to share? I fully support what Lewis has been saying. Uh, for me, for example, uh, I am a full-time full -time student at Sacred Heart. Uh, one of the reasons for me to take this MBA at Sacred Heart was the private equity course uh, at the time when Jens contacted me um, and I jumped on it. Um, all the courses of the certificate I've followed or am currently following. And it's such an enrichment to as well to my current job in terms of how you look at uh, when you're reading legal contracts, when you're interacting with investors, when you're, when you're looking at investments deal, definitely through the course with Jens and, and, and challenging the minds of the speakers with your questions. It's been such an, an enriching an enriching experience. Um, so I, I talked about legal terminology that, that I can bring to my day-to-day -day job, um, but as well, for me, what I personally like the most is, is the people I've met. I've, I've met key speakers, but as well, the, my other peers during the courses have been uh, an enrichment to my professional life, to my personal life, and we still meet up on a daily basis. Um, as well, the team, uh, so the final work uh, for the PE course specifically is uh, is you need to create your own fund and you, and you look at all the assets of who are, you, who are your investments, uh, who are your investors, your investments, etc. And you work in a little team and my, my team has been amazing and we're still in contact. So it's been, um, I can only encourage. So lots of, lots of positive points then be it on the knowledge side, the networking, the teamwork for that business case. For you, Steve, what did you like most now during the entire certificate? And how was the enrollment? Was it easy? Can you remember a little bit what the requirements were? Yes, so uh, the involvement was very easy. Uh, two reasons for me to get involved in this uh, certificate. The first one is uh, hard skills, I would say. I was looking for uh, to get an in-depth understanding of uh, an expert, uh, 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 an expertise in which I've, I'm involved in for, I've been involved in for eight years now. Um, and having uh, the possibility to confront your expertise and to get the knowledge or broader knowledge of other fields of expertise just allowed me uh, to uh, better understand my or our clients' needs. And definitely this is something that I will take the most of it from this uh, certificate. And the second one, even if it looked weird today, I wanted also to meet physically with other people, my colleagues uh, and uh, other practitioners, students. And I think that this is something that we really need because too often we are working in our own environment with, within our own firm and we are missing a piece which is the most important, which is the practice and uh, what the other people and other practitioners in the, in, in the place are are thinking or looking at. And uh, the last but not least, the, 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 the final game, putting our shoes 
in the, the shoes of uh, an asset manager was something very, I would say, helpful, interesting, and uh, something that I definitely recommend. Again, great lessons to take away and uh, nice opportunities to get in touch with those managers or, let's say, experts in order to see if you could also develop your career. Uh, any one of you, um, I mean, you're now all exposed to private equity, so meaning that's really success. That's either a door opener or, let's say, kind of consolidator or consolidation then of your knowledge, which then you can use further industry. Uh, I mean, would you see some, uh, let's say, additional modules or themes you could uh, imagine, uh, let's say, during next editions or different new angles, which are, let's say, hot for the moment and could simply be added up to that uh, certificate? I think we, we have uh, added uh, this year two, uh, two modules. Um, one is secondary, um, secondary uh, uh, private equity transaction, not secondary buyouts. Um, it, uh, we have covered all the other um, asset strategies so far. I think this is the last one. Uh, and the second one was, and that came from, from the students. Uh, the, the aim of the course is that the students uh, get the knowledge and uh, uh, are better in their job and uh, they are promoted and they are step up, stepping up. So uh, it could well be that they are confronted with the situation to become uh, a member of a board of an entity. And uh, therefore, we have added this year uh, roles, uh, duties, and responsibilities for directors. That can be in-house directors, could be independent directors. We will cover the entire spectrum to tell the students what this uh, particular task is about. Very clever to have added, let's say, those new modules and to look into, let's say, a wider approach, be it then on the, let's say, um, service provider side, but also manager side. And in the end, substance is really needed, plus, let's say, a profound knowledge of private equity and venture capital. So a good step in the right direction. Anything you would like to add before we open uh, the Q&A session with our audience? Um, maybe one thing for me. We always think that things are simpler. And when uh, I was starting to work in the private equity industry, I, I thought that it was so simpler. But when I started these courses, uh, we get you know, into more and more uh, uh, difficulties and discussions. And this is where you, you, you understand that the private equity and the alternative investment uh, industry is so complex. And definitely, you need uh, a certificate or you need to uh, discuss with other people and, and practitioners and professors, the, the one that we have, to uh, uh, get a sense of that complexity in order to bring added value in your daily work. Maybe one last uh, word from my side. Um, there are truly other uh, courses out there here in Luxembourg uh, that uh, teach private equity. But what we want to do is we want to, again, teach the entire life cycle. We want to teach every single topic and not just maybe uh, accounting issues or valuation issues or legal issues. And uh, that's why we have set up uh, these modules. And when we did that for the first time, we uh, gave our syllabus to industry experts. Uh, we showed them to heads of private equity offices here in Luxembourg. We showed them to uh, partners of the big four, partners of the law firms, and asked them, do you see anything that is missing here? And we discussed it with them. And then what the outcome was, uh, was agreed by, by all these uh, practitioners here in Luxembourg. Luis, Christine, uh, do you have a, a tip to share to the next students, be it on the business case or on how to prepare for the different courses, since those are, let's say, in the evenings? Um, Any tricks? Well, uh, tricks is don't think about it too much. It's going to uh, take your free time for a while, but it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, I, I regularly follow uh, courses and seminars and after work events um, to to gain further access to PE knowledge, this course is nothing compared to it. It's, it's an accumulation and ask as many questions as you can. The, the, the speakers are absolute from top level and they're open to any questions. Yeah, that, that's one of the things I would emphasize. There's a lot of dialogue, interaction, 
Of course, there's a, there are a number of slides that need to go through until the end of the session, but quite often there was pressure on the slides because there were so many questions and discussions sometimes because as we have profiles of people who sometimes are experts in certain areas like accounting of private equity funds. Uh, and then they know a lot about that subject, but they lack information on other aspects of private equity. So on that subject, they can challenge the professors almost on, on some details of operations. Um, but that's a bit the kind of profile that I see around the room. People that know a lot about a given aspect because they do private equity, because they do uh, KYC or accounting uh, evaluation, but they lack information on, on the rest. On, on the concepts, on, on, on the bigger picture of private equity. And um, that's where I think people can gain something with this course mostly is to, is to get the big picture. It's important that Jens uh, highlights that uh, each trial is to cover all the subjects because you can have this holistic perspective of uh, private equity from the funding to the deployment to the exiting and um, and yes, in the real industry, it takes several companies to do that process, it takes several service providers to provide spe specialized services to each, and you are challenged with the holistic view of understanding the, the full uh, value chain of private equity. Yes, and we also really recognize that, that, that strong value, that added value, and that's why we then endorsed it uh, within our team. And this year, another team member will join again the PE certificate with uh, those different courses. You can certainly find all those uh, related information on our website if you are coming from the LPA or certainly go to the Sacred Heart University website to find everything you need for the, let's say, nitty gritty details. And also, uh, we are very happy as an association to have that new career website uh, where then uh, people can, uh, with their studies, also join and fill in an application which then will be shared with the LPA members, meaning that we are really here to uh, create some light matchmaking, allowing then the new students or talents to find and also discuss potentially with then the LPA members in order to find either a job or an internship or simply open discussions. So that's what we try to offer also then to the community. So great, thanks. Um, could we now move on to the Q&A session? So dear attendees, if you want to ask uh, some questions, you can then use the Q&A button or the chat function in order to then, uh, let's say, ask me then uh, Steve, Christine, Louis, and Jens then uh, the latest questions you would have concerning the upcoming P certificate. So I know we were quite clear or people uh, are already checking the websites in order then to enroll very soon. We would uh, strongly recommend it. And uh, I, I, ah, I see one question. one question. I Great. think it's for Louis, Christine or Steve. Yes, so how much time did you invest during the week for this program? Okay, I can answer uh, or start to answer the, those, those, these questions. Uh, it's basically four hours, uh, or it was six hours per week, and uh, then it was roughly uh, one weekend, one or two weekends uh, in November and December in order to uh, get in line with the team and to uh, get in order this uh, um, asset uh, manager's game. And I, I would recommend also spending some time reading private equity related news because uh, that's something you can always discuss with the professors in the room. There's always touchy points that you can bring up and, uh, but that's, that's really not time consumed. It's a pleasure. <laughs> well, true. Uh, Jens, I don't know how many classes you're organizing this, uh, this time per week, but I confirm uh, with Steve, it was three hour per, per class. So we had two classes a week. Um, and then, Closer to the end, when we were uh, getting into the head of the asset manager, me and my team, we, we, met up, we met up actually quite often because we really enjoyed it. So I think it really depends on, on the time you want to spend into it. But I can only encourage you to, to do as much as possible. There, there is no uh, book we recommend to read uh, before uh, the course or before classes. 
Um, most of the students already have heard a little bit about the different topics. And uh, if not, we just recommend um, to Google it a bit, uh, especially uh, together with, with, uh, with Luxembourg. Uh, there are some uh, publications out there. Um, they are, might not be easy uh, to read them entirely, but just uh, a, few, uh, a few words about the topics and that is fine. So there's not uh, uh, a deeper preparation required for, for the courses. And also to reflect on uh, Louis's hint, I mean, if you want to hear about private equity news, uh, an ideal, uh, let's say, association would certainly be DLPA, since we have, let's say, weekly newsletters we like to share. We have technical webinars dedicated to members. We have also interviews with private equity actors. And uh, I mean, all those uh, additional angles uh, would certainly or might help you then next to those different studies. So would warmly recommend also to uh, get acquainted with who our members are, where you would like to, to potentially work later on. So those are the kind of uh, things you could do also. Another last question. If not, then I would like to certainly thank Jens and all our alumni former students for their presence today and also you, the audience, for having a look at our webinar, uh, being interested and curious about the PE certificate. It would certainly be a success again and uh, hope to see you very soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.